Hey guys, it's Natalie and I'm here with your Daily Dose. So today I wanted to bring in Graydon, who is actually part of the TEDx club. And we wanted to talk about the E in dose, actually, which is endorphins. So I thought it might be interesting to kind of talk about how sports relate to endorphins mm -hmm. and how um, being active, exercising, mm -hmm. all of the above, just it, it produces more <laughs> endorphins. Uh, which can reduce stress and anxiety. And I was wondering, since you play sports grade, and I was wondering if you have noticed a decrease in stress. Well, um, yeah, like I, like Natalie said, I'm part of the club and um, definitely being part of other clubs as well as sports has been actually a catalyst for a lot of my stress. And I find myself like on the way to the games on the bus, like scribbling furiously to do my homework and really having trouble with time management. And I'm a sophomore, so it's not yeah. even the hardest year for me yet. And I'm finding myself, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do sports next year as a junior. So that's really tough for me because I wanna focus on academics more than sports. And it's really hard to just choose between the two of those because both are super significant in my life. So Yeah, yeah, no, I get that. Mm -hmm. And I was, so do you think that it's increased stress more than, like, made you happier or do you find that you feel better after sports? Definitely it's, like, a stress buster because before practice yeah. we always run a bunch and I'm not a huge advocate for running. But definitely, like, putting on music and running around the track is a really, really, really great way to just think about stuff and have a couple moments, even during the game, just focusing on one thing at a time. Instead of during school, I feel like my mind's racing all the time, and I have to think about a billion subjects yeah. and the homework <laughs> for that and the tests. And just when you can focus on the game and one simple goal, it's really unifying and also super stress busting in that aspect so yeah yeah do you find that when you are in the game like in the middle of the game or practicing do you get stressed out honestly I think it's pretty uh, like a really rigorous practice schedule yeah. like it's five days a week and two hours a day and then the games can be like four hours five hours just not even playing but just oh, wow. getting there and stuff so the practice is quite quite long yeah. <laughs> and I found myself in the past almost having to miss practice because of this ridiculous homework load yeah. that I'm getting and the notes I have to do for classes so actually like practice for me getting there is super stressful and like getting all my stuff together if I miss something mm -hmm. it's like oh my gosh what do I do so actually doing practice takes me away from that and for once I don't think about I have that test tomorrow. I have to study for that test tomorrow. I have to do this. So that's really nice. Yeah. So it's kind of like a distraction. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I was also wondering, like, does it help to have that support from your teammates to be able to relate to them and Definitely. talk to them? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like a family when you're there with your team. Like at the beginning of the year, I remember thinking like, how am I going to like do this every single day of my life? These people, I don't even know them. Like, I guess I'll have to know them. And it was almost intimidating because I don't even know these people. And it's, you do this super personal yeah. thing with them, like playing on a field and having to trust that it's other very person. Physical too. Exactly. Like when you're in a game and you're having to pass to somebody, you have to know that they'll be there for you. Mm -hmm. And building that trust is kind of anxiety inducing almost because, like, you want them, you don't yeah. want there to be any, like, vendettas against you yeah, during I'm not the game. To let exactly. Else so, um, it's definitely a great support system. Like I know a lot of my other friends are uh, enrolled in the same classes as I am. And uh, being in the same classes as them is super nice because you can talk about stuff also because we're friends. But <laughs> having that is super yeah. amazing. And I really appreciate the people on the team. Yeah. And being able to like ask them for help on exactly. homework. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> just ranting about it's stuff. Done. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really interesting actually. 
I had always heard, I mean, like, PE, like, I mean, my teachers would talk about it. They mm-hmm. would just really into our minds that exercising and just being active in general would, yeah. you know, produce more endorphins, would mm-hmm. increase all these things. And yeah. it's interesting to see how it might actually increase <laughs> some yeah. of those things. Yeah, I totally get that because, like, during a game, like, I've only scored one goal. I'm not going to be like, oh, my gosh, like, every single game I'm, like, drilling in goals. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely when you get that moment of, like, all my hard work, all my practice, two hours a day, yeah. finally building up to this one moment where you score that goal, even if it's not even, like, a, a huge hard hit into the goal, just getting that into there and knowing that people helped you out to get there and that one moment building up to that it's like this huge adrenaline rush yeah and it's honestly super addictive and I think that's why I'm going to continue to do sports throughout this year just yeah for that and one and, rush you know, as well. all your all your hard work and exactly missing homework missing practices oh has finally paid off <laughs> <laughs> yes yes yeah um and then I was wondering do you find that it's easier to focus on homework after sports? Like, do you do homework after sports? I try to do homework, be- like, a little bit of it before sports. Yeah. But honestly, when I get home, I just absolutely crash from yeah. school because it's just this entire day, like, going, 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 and then club meetings during lunch, like, I'm enrolled in five clubs right now. Yeah. So it's a lot of work. I am too, but to- I don't go to them. <laughs> But yeah, just during lunch, like I used to have that break in middle school of like that that little mm-hmm. pause just to hang out with my friends, just to talk about stuff, just to have that moment. And I feel like I take that before practice. I probably shouldn't and I should probably get my notes done, but I don't. And then after practice, I just barely have any time to eat. Like I get home and it's 7 or 7.30. I'm like, oh my god, crap, I have to, like, write an essay tonight, yeah. or I have to do these corrections. Or do AP World. <laughs> yeah, exactly. AP World yeah. is definitely a, a common problem for me, but getting home, I just, I kind of freak out sometimes, and I, I like, I've cried in the past about it, but yeah. you just have to, it's definitely taught me a lot of perseverance, just getting home, and getting it out of the way, even if I have to stay up super late, it's yeah, just right? also time management <laughs> skills, because, like, I find myself, especially in AP World, taking too much time with my notes. Like, oh, God, oh, yeah, like, I'm too, too specific about it. Like, I just need to focus on this. So I set a timer for myself. But, yeah, definitely time management has been a problem for me in that aspect. Yeah. I mean, I think I've definitely noticed an increase in stress coming mm-hmm. into high school. Yeah, me too. Because of, I don't know, the pressure. AP World to, especially. Yeah, <laughs> AP World especially. Yeah, yeah. And the pressure to do well in school, but also... Mm-hmm do extracurriculars yeah. and do clubs and yeah. sports and all of that stuff not only for me uh is it sports but for also academics like that yeah. kind of adrenaline endorphin inducing rush uh from like maybe getting a 100 on a test or doing really well after hard work just that same kind of feeling of working hard for your goals yeah i think is in sports and for me like balancing both of those i want to be able to do both in the future so um, I think I'm going to try to stay with that. But yeah, definitely the, the pressure is getting to me a lot yeah. right now. Yeah, that, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually did some research on this too mm-hmm. about how team sports can affect like your mood, your overall well-being. And I found that team sports have been proven to boost brain growth mm-hmm. and increase motor skills and cognitive development. Yeah. So, and I mean, that's why I kind of asked about the homework thing. Like, does, mm-hmm. it, does it help you focus more? Do you yeah. feel better when you're doing your assignments, even if it is super late at night? You yeah. Know? I mean, there's, there's days where I don't have practice, and I find that it's really, really hard for me to stay focused from, like, 2 p.m. till late at night, and having that break in between even though that's super, super long and it takes a huge chunk out of my day, 
it helps me kind of like focus up because I have less time and it's like okay you have to get this done like, I have to get it like because you have to get yeah. it done like if you have like a scheduled essay in class tomorrow you got to study for it like you don't have any other options so yeah definitely focusing yeah unless you just wing it the next mm-hmm. day <laughs> <laughs> well that happens too but yeah. yeah definitely motor skills cognitive development I definitely believe it 100% yeah. because I think I definitely okay I think I have a lot of time after school. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't play any sports or anything after school. Mm-hmm. And TikTok and Instagram, just get yeah. to you. Yeah, like I just virus. keep scrolling. Absolutely. <laughs> I actually delete all that stuff because like, really? I just couldn't focus. But, yeah. Yeah, totally. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Great. Um, right. so, oh, and yeah, the daily thing. Daily yes, thing. athletes out there. On October 24th, it is National Food Day, so Woo-hoo. make sure to eat up, get all that energy, get those carbs, for energy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Great. All right. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much.